What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room and the other day I got into like a massive organizing frenzy. I had a bunch of stuff on the floor, just recent pickups, stuff from probably like the last month or two and I just started organizing and really did a deep dive in this room and then I started realizing I'm running out of space so I had to get creative. I had to reorganize stuff, move things around, create new displays, and that is what I did. Now this is not going to be like a full-on room tour. I still have a little bit more updating and stuff I need to do to, to kind of justify doing another room tour video, but this is going to be an update video because I have something really, really cool. Probably, honestly, like one of the coolest things I've done in the room in a while, and that's actually going to be in the closet. So I have a secret gaming setup in the closet. But before we get into that, I'm going to flip the camera around, just give you guys a brief overview of the room so you can kind of see the state of everything and where everything is. And then I'm going to show you my brand new secret gaming setup that is hidden in my closet and nobody will ever know. This thing is so awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, you guys, and here we are with the room. So here is a brief overview. Honestly, not too much has changed in here. Like, no really major changes, no display updates or anything, at least in this part of the room. But then, obviously, we're going to get to that closet in a second. But the main thing that I was running out of space for was my VHS and CRT TV collection. So, I have about 120 or so VHS tapes between right over there and then in this section on this shelf right over here as you can see and I was just running out of space and I've been picking up a lot of VHS's lately and then CRT TV so I have this big one here that has been my main CRT for the last couple of months since I found somebody throwing it away and I put it on display here now before this one I had my Samsung GX which is now currently on the floor over there because I don't really have a spot for it and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with it but I've done a whole video on this TV if you guys wanna check that video out it'll be on the screen at the end of this video but yeah for right now that's just sitting on the floor in my to-do pile as well as the rest of my to-do pile over here so ignore all that stuff on the floor but now we get into the closet and this thing I am so excited about it really gives me it gives me the vibes of like those old uh, Toys R Us uh, like Kia demo kiosk with like a PS1 or Super Nintendo you'll see what I'm talking about in a second or a Nintendo 64 so let's go ahead and crack this open crack both doors open and then I'm going to flip the camera back this way now this is my storage closet so keep in mind it's not going to be like the most prettiest display thing in the world because I have just a ton of other stuff in here but I figured I have this other TV here. Now this is a little Tykes TV. Let me cut this off so the camera can pick it up better. So this is a purple little Tykes TV as you guys can see here. Little Tykes branding. I found this at the thrift store for like $10 a few years ago. Red buttons, yellow buttons. This thing is just so 90s. I just love it. It's such a quirky TV and just really, really cool. So I figured instead of just storing the TV in here like by itself because like I have no room to, to put it, instead of just throwing it in the closet, why don't I just throw it in the closet, but actually hook it up and, and set it up? And that's exactly what I did. This isn't that heavy of a TV. I want to say, if I had to guess, it's probably like 15, 20 pounds. So it's not terribly heavy. So uh, the little plastic containers that I have here actually hold it up very, very easily. So I'm very happy about that. And I decided to hook up a Nintendo 64 and a uh, VCR. And then I also use this uh, brochure holder right here and some 3M little sticky tabs as you can see right over there. Um, and I just stuck it to the wall and then I just put a bunch of little uh, video game instruction manuals that I had a bunch of loose ones and also some like cheat code books. These back here are cheat code books. And I just figured why not put it there because I have such fond memories specifically of a PS1 kiosk that back in the day when my dad worked at Toys R Us, he actually brought it home and it lived in my room for probably 10 plus years and I'm so mad that they got rid of it. Um, you know, at that time I didn't care about it, but it was this really cool PS1 kiosk that had, um, it was a big tower and it had a little component or like a little um, like pamphlet slot that you would put like uh, flyers or advertisements for games. And that's the, the same kind of vibe that I wanted to do over here and that's exactly what I did. So you got the pamphlets just sitting over there, which is really cool. And then I'm gonna turn this TV back on. And of course, obviously you have the TV and the VCR and the N64 all ready to go. Now this TV is such a good looking TV. I cannot believe when I finally fired it up, like just how vibrant it is. Now, excuse the black flickering, that's just my camera trying to record the CRT. That's not happening in real life. But the, the colors on here are just so vibrant. And the speakers on here are really good too. They're really uh, loud and, and clear as well. Let's see if we can get some good audio. Oh, this is perfect here. One of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. 
Wave Race 64. Now, just listen to these. We'll turn that down so it's not very bassy by any means but it's very loud and very crisp that is the the main thing the higher it goes the crisper it gets which is very very nice and you can see just like compare the colors on this TV here the the colors are very dull almost look a little bit washed out and then you come to this TV and they're just so bright and vibrant it's really really amazing just how great of a display this is I, I will even go as far as to say as this little tykes TV has a better display than the Samsung GX gaming monitor, hands down. Obviously, overall, that's probably a better package with the GX because of the audio that you get with the subwoofers and all the speakers and surround sound and all that, but uh, that picture quality isn't, like, it's not terrible, but it's not really that great, especially compared to the colors on here. Just so bright, so vibrant. And then obviously I have the controller just sitting up here ready to go at a moment's notice. So whenever you want to play, you can just hop into that right there. So. And I just got that over here. Now I figured it would look cleaner if I didn't have like the controller sitting up top there. And let me bring the flash back in. But I figured it would just look cleaner if I didn't have the controller sitting on top there with the wires dangling and everything. But you know what? This is throwback. This is 90s. This is how they did it in the 90s. So, or how they did it, how we, how I did it. And this is what I did growing up. You leave the wires hanging. It's part of the aesthetic. So you know what? I left the controller plugged in. I left the wires hanging, even though it doesn't look as clean. And another thing that I did was I put some of my extra VHS tapes as well as computer games that did not fit on my video game display over there. I just set them up on this shelf over here. So you can see just an overflow of stuff that I didn't have a spot for essentially. And then the other thing that I have is the component cables for the N64. Those are the ones plugged in right now at the moment. And then I have my other component cables dangling right here and that is for the VCR. So I have them resting on this little, um, I don't know, this was like a little insert for a shelf that used to be in this closet. And it just, it sits perfectly between my board games shelf as well as that little bracket there for the, uh, the old shelf that used to be there. So what I have to do is very simple. If I just wanna switch between the two, just go ahead, unplug those, and then bring in the other ones, and plug them in, and there you go. We can see we're at the credits. I was watching Lilo and Stitch on this TV, so we're at the credits right now. But that's all I have to do. Technically, I, I have some component splitters, but if I did the splitters, then I wouldn't really have like anywhere to put the splitter, essentially, because you're still going to have the component cables coming off the side. So I think it's just easier and quicker to just do it that way versus having the splitter tucked somewhere behind the TV and having to go behind the TV every single time I want to do something. But there you go, that is the latest update. I'm just gonna switch it back to the N64 really quickly. There we go. So yeah, that is the latest update. I'm just gonna turn the TV off so you guys can get a good look of how it looks. But yeah, and again, keep in mind, this is my storage closet. So um, I do have things you know stored in here. And obviously I took some things out that would normally be in there which is sitting right over here, this little podium with stuff. But yeah, storage closet with a full little like demo kiosk type of vibe from back in the day. So I am a really big fan of this. And let me know what you guys think about this down below. I think it was a pretty good use of space if you ask me. And I'm just, I'm so excited to have another setup. So that makes one TV, two TVs, three TVs, uh, four arcades, all of my system plugged and play and ready to go on all of these over here. So uh, that, that's my thing is functionality. And I just added another version of functionality right here inside of the closet. So yeah, definitely let me know down below what you guys all think. All right, you guys. So that is going to do it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my secret little gaming setup that I set up in my storage closet. I, I think this, I, I don't know. It was just, I think I'm so happy about it because it was just a random idea that I had like a spur of the moment thing while I was organizing and cleaning. And I didn't expect it to turn out, I guess, as good as it did or work as easy and seamlessly. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just plugging things in, running an, uh, an extension cord through the closet. But just the way that I have it set up where you can't even see, like, all the cables. So I don't think I showed this off earlier. But the way I have it set up is literally um, just an extension cord running behind my RK1 up. So you can't even see the wiring over there. And then that wire goes around the plastic containers on that side. So you really can't see like the wires or how it's set up or anything so i just love like 
how inconspicuous and incognito it is and honestly if I didn't have it turned on people wouldn't even probably think that it's plugged in because this is just my storage closet but anyways I'm, I'm probably like a little bit too excited for something so simple but I, I don't know I just I'm excited about it I wanted to share it with you guys if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok then you have seen this already but if you don't well, I don't know why you don't follow me. Link's down in the description below, but you're seeing it now. So uh, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more, and as always, see you guys next time.